The opening session of Book Two saw strong trade across the board, with two lots surpassing the previous record price set for this sale, headlined by a Dark Angel filly who sold to Shadwell for the record-breaking 1.05 million guineas. The Ballyhimmican stud consigned session topper set the sales ring alight, with Japanese buyers Charlie Gordon Watson and Kevin Ryan all landing bids before the hammer came down in favour of Shadwell's Angus Gold. At a million fifty I sell left-handed this time. Shadwell, sir, thank you very much indeed. Bred by Trevor Stewart, the filly is a granddaughter of the outstanding race mare and multiple Group 1 producer Cassandra Goh, a family who have been life-changing for the successful vendor's operation. It's been absolutely fantastic. I mean, when I bought Cassandra Goh um, over uh, 20 years ago, I never thought that um, the sort of luck and all the uh, results that she has produced would come to being fantastic. She's probably a little bit neater than some of them, but she was very racy, looks a real two-year-old, while the family tend to take a time to develop, but she looks like a real two-year-old, and I hate to say, but as the day went on, I was becoming more in love with her, and so I was nearly going to regret selling her, but obviously at the price I got, there was no regrets. It's very hard to put into words, because you know, it's, you know, you have a family like this which just keeps on giving all the time and has given me so many, up, mainly ups, very few downs. And it's just very satisfying. No words can really say, you know, the pleasure it gives. What was it about her that really pushed Sheikh Hamdan to that session topping price? He was very keen to buy her for the pedigree. Obviously she comes from a great farm, a very successful breeder. In Trevor they've done a fantastic job with that family as have Coolmore and I hope we can, we can add a bit. Was it a price you thought you might have to go to for, for something of that cal calibre? Not for a second. No, <laughs> no, it completely caught me unawares. Um, after last week, you know, we bought some big price fillies last week and, and uh, if you told me she was going to make more than them, I would have said you were probably fibbing. So, uh, no, I didn't expect to pay that much. Um, you know, but from those families, it's a hard to buy into that particular family that close up. Uh, they've done a brilliant job over the years. Um, great racehorse producing family and it's got lots of fillies in it all breeding well so hopefully it'll still be breeding in 20 years time. The most expensive colt on the day by the exciting young sire of 10 sovereigns in Arizona was bred by Epona Bloodstock and consigned and sold by Dennis Brosnan's Kroom House stud. Kroom revealed that the damn winning sequence sadly passed away this spring after foaling a profitable colt, but was no doubt delighted to see the familiar bidding duel that characterised Book One ensue between Anthony Stroud and MV Magnia for this particular offering, with the latter prevailing for the record price. MV Magnia, thank you very much indeed. 900,000 buys. The only lot in the catalogue consigned by Pa Doyle's Galbertstown stud also registered a notable success for his breeders when an Australia cult out of an Indian Ridge mare Sophie Germain sold to Philippa Maines for 300,000 guineas. The cult, who is set to follow in the hoof prints of fellow Australia progeny Cayenne Pepper to race in the colours of John Kelly for Jessica Harrington, was bred by John Hayes and his wife Una, who celebrated John's birthday today with a first appearance at Park Paddocks and a winful result. I'm thrilled. I kind of didn't expect he'd do as well as that. I had a fairly serious number in my head and I was going to take him home and happy to race him. She's going to Jessica Harrington, who's amazing. The Slatteries in uh, Killinall, Andrew Slattery and his brothers, they train for me. I'm a small owner breeder, and uh, they are such wonderful people. Honest, hardworking. To me, they're the essence of what racing is all about. In addition to two record-breaking lots on the day, there were also several standout pinhook results, the first of which was lot 689, a pride of Dubai filly from the family of Fairyland, who having been bought for 14,000 guineas as a foal, was secured by Joe Foley on behalf of Clipper Logistics for 115,000 guineas. Bred by Laundry Cottage Stud, the easy-moving filly was consigned by Manister House on behalf of the 10-strong blind leading the blind pinhooking syndicate, which included William Haggis's assistant, Harry Eustace, and Sir Michael Sout's assistant, James Horton. Harry's brother's down in Australia training with Kira Ma, and uh, they were raving about the pride of Dubai, so we thought we'd take a chance on her. Yeah. We, I'd say looking at the page, the only reason we did get her at the time was, was the pride of Dubai. I'm not sure at the time Europe really knew who he was, so, so we took a chance on that really and, and it's paid off. At 115 last time.
Joe Foley, thank you very much indeed. Another pin hooker celebrating after a successful opening session was Sophie Buckley of Colworth Grounds Farm, who having picked up lot 798, a cable bay colt, for just €4,000 last year, secured an incredible markup when the Marchbourne offering became one of 20 purchases on the day for Sheikh Hamdan's Shadwell operation for 160,000 guineas. He was, a, he was actually a lovely foal, but uh, the stallion hadn't really hit the dizzy heights um, that he has now. He's had plenty of stakes winners since then, and the half-brother's also gone on to be a good horse. So I had lots of things go my way, and he's actually always been pretty straightforward. He's done well, but I think in the last few months he's done particularly well. Um, but he's got a great attitude. He's really easy to do. He just wants to come out every day and do his job. But, you know, the team at home have done a great job. They put in loads of hard work, as they do with all the yearlings. So it's just a great result for everybody, not just me. And so I hope they're also really happy about it. And he's bought by Shadwell, um, by Angus Gold. And that is great for me because that's how I really got started. I was a door opener for Angus when I was 19 years old. And I've always wanted to pin hook courses. And uh, finally it's happened. And this is my fourth year. And it's just great that Angus bought essentially the best one I've pin hook so far. So he taught me well.